everyone. Today we're celebrating Curious George Day. Yesterday was H.A. Ray's birthday. Mr. Ray was the author and illustrator of the Curious George book. And 81 years ago, in 1939, Mr. Ray and his wife created the character of Curious George. So, children have been reading Curious George stories for 81 years. And we're going to read a Curious George story today. So if you join me this morning as we sing and read and celebrate Curious George Day, and a special hello to the Skyline Thunderbirds first graders this morning. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands with so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Okay, join me, we're gonna clap. My hands clap hello, my hands clap hello, with all my friends at Curious George Day. My hands clap hello, my feet stamp hello, my feet stamp hello, with all my friends at Curious George Day. My feet stamp hello. All righty. Okay, now we've got a curious monkey. Let me see if Curious George is helping us today. The curious monkey stomped his feet, stomped his feet, stomped his feet. The curious monkey stomped his feet just like you. The curious monkey claps his hands, claps his hands, claps his hands. The curious monkey claps his hands just like you. The curious monkey jumps up and down, up and down, up and down. The curious monkey jumps up and down just like you. The curious monkey turns around, turns around, turns around. The curious monkey turns around just like you. Okay, and one more monkey see, monkey do. A curious monkey likes to do just the same as you and you. When you sit up very tall, <clears throat> the monkey sits up very tall. When you pretend to throw a ball, the monkey pretends to throw a ball. When you reach down and touch your toes, the monkey reaches down and touches his toes. When you move and wiggle your nose, the monkey moves and wiggles his nose. When you jump up in the air, the monkey jumps up in the air. When you sit down in your chair, the monkey sits down in his chair. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, here we go. Our story today is Curious George and the Pizza Party. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today he wasn't just curious, he was excited. So excited, in fact, that he was turning flips and standing on his head. A little girl in George's building had invited him to her pizza party. George had never been to a pizza party before, but he loved parties and he loved pizza, so he knew it had to be good. George, it's time for the pizza party, said the man with the yellow hat. Have fun and remember to be on your best behavior. George got to the party in perfect time. Hi, George, called out the little girl. But oh, what was all of this? The children were wearing puffy white chef hats and checkered aprons. George got a hat and an apron too. The best was yet to come. They weren't just going to eat pizza, they were gonna make it. Oh, everyone will get a piece of pizza dough to roll out and make a special pizza, exclaimed the girl's mother. There were many little lumps of dough. But first, said the mother, let's play some games. Everyone went into the living room to play pin the pepperoni on the pizza. Everyone except George. He was curious about those pieces of dough. George thought and thought. If lots of little pieces of dough were good, maybe one huge one would be even better. He gathered the lumps of dough together and squished and squished, squished them together until they became the very biggest piece of dough he had ever seen. Woohoo! What fun! Maybe rolling it out would be even more fun. George poured flour out on the table and he rolled and rolled and rolled the dough with the rolling pin. It was messy work. First, he bumped over one of the chairs, crashed. Then he knocked over the sack of flour, thump. The flour looked like snow lying on the floor of the kitchen. George liked snow though, so he didn't mind at all. Soon he had gotten the dough nice and thin. But the thinner it got, the farther it spread out. Before he knew it, the dough had covered the table, then the chair, 
Hey, George. The top of the flower started to stick to everything, including George. George stopped to think again. Maybe the dough was better off in small pieces after all. George got a pair of scissors and began cutting up the dough into lots of different shapes. He thought everyone would be pleased. But oh, George, what have you done to the kitchen? It was the little girl's mother. She did not look very happy. I think it's time for you to go home now. How surprised and how sad George was. Just then the children burst into the kitchen and saw the mess that George had made. George, what happened? asked one boy. The other children looked at the shapes George had made with wide eyes. Wow, George, I've never seen pizza dough that looks like this before, said the little girl, smiling. Well, said her mother, if you clean up this mess quickly, George, I suppose you can still stay to make pizza. The children all helped George clean up the kitchen. He was so lucky to have so many good friends. As they worked, they talked about the pizza. I'm going to make a pizza that looks like a star, said one little boy. I'm going to make one that looks like a house, said another. Once the kitchen was clean, the real fun began. All the children picked out perfect pieces of dough and got to work. They spooned on tomato sauce and sprinkled on cheese. They added vegetables and pepperonis. Wonderful. One looked like a rainbow. One looked like a stop sign. One looked like a balloon. And there was even a pizza that looked curiously like George. Well, George, said the little girl's mother, the pizzas taste great, and thanks to you, they look wonderful, too. Everyone agreed it was the best pizza party anyone had ever had, the best pizza they had ever tasted. For the second time that day, George was so happy that he turned flips and stood on his head. Of course, it was a little harder to turn flips with so much pizza in his belly, <laughs> but George didn't mind. It had been a wonderful pizza party. Ah, George and the pizza party. I don't know if we want George at our pizza party. I guess so. <laughs> okay, I'll put that one right there. Are you ready to join me again? This is another curious monkey. <clears throat> this is about 10 little monkeys. 10 little monkeys play this game. Each one has a number name. Monkey one, touch the floor. <laughs> Monkey two, shut the door. Monkey three, sit on your chair. Monkey four, comb your hair. Monkey five, bend your knees. Monkey six, climb some trees. <laughs> Monkey seven, stand up tall. Monkey eight, throw a ball. Monkey nine, bend way down. Monkey 10, you're a clown. <laughs> George likes that one because it's silly. <laughs> okay, here's another silly one. The curious monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and bumped him on his knee. Along came his friend and hugged away the pain. The curious monkey climbed up the tree again. Better watch out, George. <laughs> okay, now. I've got two songs that George likes, just because they are silly songs. And George likes silly songs. The first one is called Knuckles Knees. You need your knuckles, and you touch different parts. It has three verses. We're going to start out with the first verse. And we go, the first verse goes really slow. We go through it the first time slowly, and then we'll go through more quickly. And then we'll add a second verse. And we'll sing the first verse and the second verse. And then we'll add a third verse. And we'll sing the first verse, second verse, and third verse. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> okay, we'll start out slowly. And let me see. Let me get this straight. Here we go. Knuckles, knees. So where are your knuckles? Now bend your fingers to show your knuckles. Perfect. <laughs> Knuckles toes. More quickly. Knuckles knees, knuckles toes, knuckles tummy, knuckle toes. toes. <laughs> second verse. We'll do it and then we'll do the first and second. Knuckles hair. Knuckles hips. Knuckles legs. Knuckles lips. Okay. Knuckles knees, knuckles toes, knuckles. 
knuckle tunnel me knuckle toe knuckle stare knuckle kiss knuckle leg knuckle lip <laughs> okay the very first we'll do it and then we'll do one two and three knuckle straight knuckles bend knuckles knuckle yes we can here we go Knuckles, knees, knuckle, toe, knuckle, tummy, knuckle, toe, knuckle, hair, knuckle, kiss, knuckles, legs, knuckles, lips, knuckle, straight, knuckle, bend, knuckles, knuckles, that's the end. <laughs> Alright, good job. Okay, so we got one more that George likes. Oh, and it is a silly one. You have to. <laughs> you have to shake. Okay, it has verses two. Okay, let me see. Let me just talk. We're going to shake different parts here and we'll <laughs> have it ordered. Let's start with bottom up. I learned a little dance called the West End Gala. If you dance, they call it shaking from the bottom, bottom up. up. Curious George Day. We hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget to be curious.